Hey everybody, this is Patrick here. Just wanted to make a quick video on how to install PHP MyAdmin on AWS LightSail. AWS LightSail has definitely been growing in popularity. Everybody's been using it to whip up quick website hosting for uh, WordPress sites, a lot of different apps. So a lot of people, they don't want to use the command line to manage MySQL databases. They don't have time or they don't know how. And uh, they'd rather use PHP MyAdmin, a tool that's been around forever now. So to get this installed, there's only about five or ten different steps, and it takes about uh, five or six minutes. Follow these directions. To get started, you'll need some knowledge of the Linux command line, PuTTY in win inside of Windows, and of course PHP MyAdmin. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitter. My handle is PMKOM. Myself or one of my followers will give you an answer. And here we go. To get started, I'm going to assume that you have AWS LightSail installed, and in this case that you're using WordPress. Installing LightSail is very easy, especially if you stick to the default configuration. There's a lot of different options you can add, a lot of different packages that you can add. You can name your instance anything that you want, and even assign it different tags within AWS. Okay, now let's get down to business. Within AWS LightSail dashboard, navigate to the account menu and click on the account label within that menu. From there, click on SSH keys and download the default key to your computer. Save the key using any file name you want and click save. Once you've done that, open up PuTTY Key Generator. This is a tool that's packaged along with PuTTY and it's very easy to use. Hit the load button and locate the PEM file that you just downloaded from Amazon. Click on open and then say OK to the notification that might pop up. Once you've done this, you can hit save private key. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to save this key without a passphrase. And for now, you can just say yes. From there, it will again ask you to save the file to your computer. And again, name it something that you'll remember later. For me personally, I like to organize all of my keys in different files and folders on my PC. Next, head back to AWS LightSail dashboard and locate the IP address of your instance. Note that this is your public IP and not your private IP. Copy that to your clipboard and if you'd like, paste it in a notepad because you'll probably need it again later. Now here's the fun part. Open up PuTTY and paste it into the host name or IP address section. From there, navigate to the connection menu, the SSH submenu, and then the AUTH submenu under that. Now click Browse and open the PPK file you just saved from PuTTY Generator. Go back to the Session tab and click Open just to make sure that everything's working properly. Next, you're going to need the WordPress database username and password. This is the username and password that we're going to use to log into PHP MyAdmin at the end of this video. Navigate to the Opt, Bitnami, Apps, WordPress, htdocs folder. I'll paste that directory within the description of this video. From there, use your favorite command line text editor or cat the wp-config.php file so you can grab the username and password. Scroll up and copy that to your clipboard and then paste it into Notepad. Close out of your session and then open PuTTY back up. We're almost at the end. Paste the IP address back into PuTTY if it's not there already. Do the same thing that you did before by going to the connection, SSH, and auth submenu of PuTTY, browsing and opening your private key. This time, instead of exiting, you're going to go to the connection menu, SSH submenu, and then tunnels submenu under that. We're looking at two form fields here, the source port and the destination port. The source port should be 8888, and the destination port should be localhost colon 80. Leave everything else the same. Click Add and make sure that it's there. 
We're now in the home stretch. Go back to the session tab and click save. This is really important because you don't want to have to go back and do this every time you want to open up PHP MyAdmin. Click open to initiate the tunnel. Once you've done that, you've successfully initiated the tunnel on your computer. Use the default username Bitnami to log in. Now for the fun part. Go to your favorite browser and in the address bar, type 127.0.0.1 colon 8888 slash php myadmin slash index.php. If you see the default php myadmin login screen, then you know you've done all the steps correctly. Now, take the credentials that you have pasted into Notepad and use them to log into php myadmin. Click Go to log into PHP MyAdmin. Congratulations, you've successfully set up PHP MyAdmin on AWS LightSail. Please note that during this video, I use very basic passwords and in some cases use no passwords at all. Always remember to use strong passwords and above all else, back up your data. If you have any feedback for me, please leave them in the comments. Thank you very much.